To end this section, we're going to look at ordering fractions. How do I know if one fraction is bigger than another? And so we have this definition. Here's one. We can look at size, for example. Um, here's an example of one-third is smaller than two-thirds, right? What we know is if uh, A over C is less than B over C, if A is less than B. That's straightforward. One-third is less than two-thirds, right? Two-thirds, there are two one-thirds, right? Because two-thirds is the same as two times one-third. So we know, and there's a picture, and we can see it. We can also see it on a number line. There's one-third and two-thirds. And so then you can see why that definition works. Now it gets more complicated when the fractions don't have the same denominator. So we're going to use the cross-multiplication of fraction inequality theorem, which is if we cross-multiply, if AB is less than CD, then AD is less than BC. And so now we have this here. So one way to do this is just cross multiply. Here's your 7 eighths, 9 elevenths. 7 times 11 is 77. 9 times 8 is 72. And so now I know that this number is smaller than this one. This fraction is smaller than the 7 eighths. And that's through the cross multiply rule. Which one's smaller here? 40 times 17 is 680. 32 times 19 is 608. And so because this, uh, this product is smaller when we cross multiply, this fraction is smaller. And so you can see I end up with that. And so that's how you uh, check to see if a, a fraction is smaller than another fraction. An another interesting question goes back to, is there an infinite amount of fractions between right, two fractions? Is there a fraction between 7, 11, and 8, 11? From instinct, you say no. And so one way to think about it, though, so yeah, there has to be between that 7.5 over 11, and then convert that into uh, a, an equivalent fraction, I get 15 over 22, and that would be a fraction in between. Or we can use this formula right here to find a fraction between two fractions, just add the numerators and add the no denominators. It's not math or magic, it's an algebraic uh, proof for that, which you can start to see here, but that's the shortcut. So you can see 7 plus 8 is 15, 11 plus 11 is 22. Find a fraction between 9, 13, and 12, 17. Add them, 9 plus 12, 13 plus 17, and now you have 21 over 30 is, is one fraction, but there's an infinite amount of fractions in between those.